Hi everyone, welcome to today's wellness session. Today we're going to be talking about goal setting. Goal setting is important for figuring out what you want to achieve in your everyday life, motivating yourself, and building your self-confidence. With the year coming to an end, it's important for you to take some time to reflect on this past year, if you haven't already, and think about the things that went well and maybe even the things that didn't go well. Some areas of your life you may want to consider while reflecting are career, family, finances, education, physical or physical health, pleasure or things that you enjoy doing, public service or things that you're involved in. So once you have decided which area you want to focus on, then you're ready to begin formulating your goal for the new year. The first step is to decide what your, the big picture is. So think about um, what your ultimate you know, lifetime goal is or you know, where you see yourself in that area in 10 years. So for the purposes of an example, I'm, I'm going to use um, the area of education. So the big picture is I want to become a counselor. So that's my big picture. My ultimate goal, what I'm working towards, I hope to be a counselor in 10 years. And um, I'm a student currently. So the first step, I mean, the second step after you've determined what your ultimate goal is, is to break that goal into to smaller steps or smaller goals. So your short term, short term goals. So for this example, um, you may have, you may cut that down into a five year plan. So um, in five years, I hope to be, um, have my bachelor's in psychology and then you want to shorten that down even far even further to a one-year plan so um, in one year i hope to be um, getting ready to graduate from high school and um, filling out college applications you want to shorten that down even further to um to one month goal so um this month i want to um, get all of my assignments completed and see where I am as far as my grades are, see what all I have left, um, what I need to work towards this month, and then break that down even further um, to a weekly goal of I need to, which might include what you need to study for, for the upcoming tests or exams that you have coming up in your classes. So once you've broken your goal down into smaller steps like that, then you can even um, break that down even further by doing like what you need, um, like a make a to-do list of what you need to accomplish that day that's going to keep you on track towards your goal. So that could be, um, you know, you might have something like studying for 30 minutes or checking in with um, your counselor or attending a study group, something like that that might be something that would be on your daily to-do list. So once you have your goals broken down into smaller steps and those short-term goals, then the last thing is just to stay on course. And you can do that by continu continuously checking your daily to-do list to make sure that you're on, on path and revisiting and revising your, your list and your short-term goals as needed in order to make it to that long-term goal. So now that you have your three steps for formulating a goal, here's some additional tips for how to set more realistic and attainable goals. So the first thing, the first thing is to use um, positive statements when you're developing your goals. So instead of saying, um, don't procrastinate for your test, you would say, um, or you would word it like, I will study at least one week in advance for, for my test. Something like that, just putting a more positive spin on it. You also want to be 
precise with your dates whenever you're you're setting your short-term goals like i want to be at this point by this date that kind of helps you remember to continuously um, assess yourself where you are um, at different points as you work towards your goals so again you'll know if you need to revise the plan so that you can stay on track um, and right i also already said this but um, writing your goals down that's important again for um, being able to assess them regularly make sure you keep um, the goals small and attainable and celebrate um, each success as you go regardless of how big or small they are any progress towards goal achievement is a win that needs to um, that deserves some recognition. So give yourself a pat on the back <laughs> along the way. I hope you'll use these tips as you're developing your goals for the upcoming year. Thank you for joining today's session, and I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.